Yeah, Shalom, Rakhva, Yahweh, Shmishar, by Shimon Kakadosh, double honors to the elders and apostles, great Muslim, and blessed to the elect worldwide, preaching the gospel everywhere in a sincere manner, and mercy to the one further visual. But yeah, man, back again. This is Ezekiel 25. Let me start from verse 13 straight into it. It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom, man. Edom, who? The Edomites. I do me, you know, Esau, which is a so called white man, man, you know, the so called white man. That's his true identity, and that's how he should be called, man. Yeah. They, they call themselves white people, which they're not white. Yeah. They're not white. Yeah, blood shows through their skin, man. They're like, what, transparent? Or, they're red, man. Yeah. Really, man. You know, when they're huffing and puffing, tired, blushing, sweating, getting scorched by the sun. Yeah, they're red, man. Bacon red, man. And they love that pork. But these, these, these Edomites that like to call themselves white to represent purity, man. There's nothing pure about them, man. <laughs> you know, they're devils, man. They're deceivers. You know. They're really darkness, man. Because that's what they promote, darkness. Ezekiel 25, verse 13, it says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand upon Eden. The Lord's going to do it. He's going to stretch his hand on Eden, man. And what is he, he going to do when he stretches his hand out on Eden? How is he going to do it? Yeah, I will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Taman. And veil of the dawn shall fall by the sword. So he's gonna make Edom desolate, man. Destroyed. Yeah. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. See? The Lord is a vengeful a vengeful uh, power, man. Yeah. But why is the Lord taking vengeance? What did Edom do? Who ha who who has Edom hurt, man? The so called white people. Who who have they hurt? Who have they targeted? And I will lay my vengeance upon Eden by the hand of my people Israel. Well, he's gonna he's gonna lay vengeance by using the Israelites, man. Yeah. Yeah, the Lord's gonna set. He's gonna make start with the the men of the Lord when they gain them superpowers, them super abilities, supernatural bodies, which is written in uh, uh, Corinthians. I believe First Corinthians fifteen and fifty. 55 in the twinkle of an hour, which will all be changed. Yeah, man, the Israelites are going to be getting special powers, you know, and you're going to be wreaking havoc, man, destroying these heathen, even destroying two thirds of our people that are wicked, man, and, and definitely um, raining heavy, sore strokes on these Edomites, man, these so called white people, man, old, young. Whatever age, man, disability or disability or not, you know, the Lord give, don't give a shit. Yeah, by the hand of my people Israel. So the Lord's people are Israelites, man, and will always be and never will change. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. So the Lord is angry and furious at uh, at Edom, man. They so called white people. They're wicked. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord God. See that? Yeah? The Lord's going to use Israelites to show his anger, man. Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of death, a lot of destruction, man. On these so-called white people, man. It's Revelation 13 and verse 9. It says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. Uh, what does that mean, man? You know, because you got ears, but it's more than that, man. Are you listening? Are you attending to what's being said? Are you understanding and comprehending what is being said? Are you ready to receive it? You know? You know? You see, this is, this is, this is a book of uh, 
a book that's very spiritual. Yeah. Verse 10, it says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. In other words, the scripture, the scripture is actually saying, anybody, any people, yeah, that has put another people into slavery, their end is going to be to go into slavery. That's right, man. These so-called white people put our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics, into slavery, man. And scattered us throughout the uh, different parts of the world, you know, mainly in Americas and Europe. Yeah. Forced us to build their econom economical structure, their infrastructure, fighting their wars, you know, to till their ground. To make life good for them while we suffer, gaining breadcrumbs even to this day, dying, blood, sweat, and tears, and still looked down on, still talking shit upon, being whipped, lashed, held in chains from your neck, your head, your mouth, your arms, your legs, yeah, like cattle, like, like animals have been treated. Killed for fun, killed for entertainment, sold, traded, treated like prostitutes and sluts, from boy to men, boy, boy, men, women, little girls, babies. Yeah. We suffered, man. But revenge is coming, man. Revenge is fucking coming. The Lord's going to bring that revenge. The Lord's going to bring that judgment upon Esau and the rest of these other nations, these heathens. Man. Yeah, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that puts another person into slavery is going to go into slavery. That's what the scripture is saying. And it says, he that killeth with the sword yeah, must be killed with the sword. The scripture is saying, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. They, they, they kill us, man. They've killed us. They're still killing us. Yeah? Over millions that, that, that have been slaughtered. Just just by... Just by tran transporting us from the coast of West Africa to the Americas, man. Millions of the Native Americans died. Bringing diseases to them, which are our brothers, man, brothers and sisters. Yeah. The so-called white man's journal has 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 nothing but death and destruction, man, and chaos and wickedness. Which country has has he gone to bring peace? Which country has the so-called white man has gone to and it became a better place? Iran, Iraq, Syria. Look at Pakistan, India. He brings all his influence, his philosophy, his false doctrines to, to other people's culture. <laughs> and it dest destroys them. Just destroys them. Look at Australia, the Aborigines. It's their country. The, the Edomites, the British, went there. Now they're living on top. And look at the Aborigines, man. The people that inhabited it first. They're at the bottom. Explain that. The Native Americans, our brothers and sisters. He went there, made deals, broke the deals, broke the covenants. And look where the Native Americans are living. Reservations. In the borders. But the, the white people that stole the place, they're living on the top. Same, same, same places in Africa. East to west. North to south. 
Wherever the so-called white men went, they became a worse place. Because that's the nature of the so-called white man. He's evil. He's abominable. Greedy. You know? Anything he touches, it just disintegrates, man. He, he's got a dark aura, a dark negative vibe about him. He can't help himself but be wicked. He that leadeth in captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword shall be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Yeah? Let me say that again. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So you, you Christian people ain't reading this. You lot don't even know that, that slavery is in the Bible. You don't even know that the Lord uh, wants revenge for his people, the Israelites, which is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics, man. And those that are scattered throughout the earth, no matter what you look like. Now you, you don't even know this, man. So you claim that you, you're patiently waiting for the Lord. You claim that you have faith in the Lord. You claim that you're, you're a saint. Well, then you have to believe this. You have to believe and have faith, yeah, of the common destruction and enslavement for these other nations, for what they did to us, the Lord's people, the Lord's chosen, the Israelites. And if you don't believe that, then you, you, you don't, you're not a saint, man. So this book is for the book of the Israelites. Yeah, They're the saints. They're the chosen. They're the anointed. Psalms 148 and 14. The saints are Israelites, man. Yeah? So the end of Esau and the end of these heathens, these other nations, is to go into slavery and to be destroyed too, man. Yeah? So go on.